I'm cleaning up the last head here. This one was really rusted down in these valve pockets. This one you can see was rusted so much that one coil of the valve spring is rusted tight down in there and it broke off when I took it out. So now I gotta remove the rest of that valve spring before I finish blasting. You can see just how tight it's rusted to the head. Oh, there it goes. I'll get some of the real heavy scaling off of there. Now I'll go back to blasting. Well, I got done cleaning my four cylinder heads up. Uh, because I want to take them to the machine shop and have them decked just to make sure that they're flat. Because I'll be reusing head gaskets. But now I just want to touch the seats. I'm not going to finish them. I just want to see if they're going to clean up. Because I think this is the worst one. How heavily pitted they are. But I at least want to touch them enough to see if they're going to clean up. So... If they aren't, while well, they're at the machine shop, I'd have new seat cut in, if any of them need it. So I'm going to get on with that. First, I'll clean the guide. Next, I'll put the pilot in. Uh, one thing I'm going to show you, because it's off, that weight hangs off to one side, it has a spring-loaded handle. I'm going to show you something that uh, gives you an indication how old it is. If you look here, it says A and B. And there it says V8. That's how much spring pressure you should put against there. If it was a Model A or Ford Model A or B, you just put that much spring pressure. If it was a V8 where it hung more to the side, that's how much spring pressure you should go put against it to compensate or to counter act the weight off to one side. So anytime when it's straight up and down, you just hold it about at the A and B mark. And now it's going to be real noisy because I put a vacuum cleaner in the port to suck the iron dust out because the iron dust is really hard on the lungs. Oh, it's actually looking pretty good. It's cleaning up faster than I thought. That seat will be fine. Now we'll go to the next one.
I have a lot more to go on that one. There, now it's cleaning up. Two more heads to go. First clean the guide. Clean the pilot. They're cleaning up real nice. I mean, they, you can still see dark spots in them where the pits are, but if you try to get rid of those, you'd just keep going and going and going. Uh, with this low compression motor, uh, and I'll leave the seats probably wider than they should be. We should have good contact and they should seal good. And like I said, it won't be run a lot. That sleeve, split sleeve or split bushing he made for me is working fabulous. I had to order this stone just for this job. I didn't have any near this big. There, that, they're cleaning up nice. One more head to go. I'll finish them up when I'm getting ready to put them on. That one looks real good. And I realize now I have three different style heads. Two of them are the same with this indention on the side for the bigger exhaust valve. And two of them don't have that for the smaller exhaust valve. I mean, it's just slightly smaller. And uh, those two are actually different. They have different types of expansion plugs that go in here. So there's technically three different style cylinder heads. Last one. And some of these, you can see, have had seats replaced in them at one time, cut in. Like this one has had a seat replaced. You can see where it's cut in. And that one too. The seat's been replaced. Well, maybe that was, you can see dings in it. This one apparently dropped, the, had a valve head fall off too one time. There's dings in, a, in the combustion chamber. But not near as much as that other one.
Looking good. There, they're all looking good. So tomorrow I want to take these to the machine shop to have the heads resurfaced. And, uh, and we'll be able to see if he's got to start on boring the cylinders yet. I'll finish them up when I get ready to assemble them and put them on the tractor. You can see this one, uh, guides must have been replaced, and this one started to crack out there, which it's probably been like that forever, and it's on the exhaust side, so I'm not concerned about it. If a little piece breaks off, it'll just fly out the pipe. If it was on the intake, I'd be more concerned. Uh, so I'm just going to let it as it is. So tomorrow I'm going to load these up and take them to the machine shop to be reserviced. Thanks again for watching.